Hey, hi, hello, my name is Scotty O, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Condition tutorial. Today we're back with a 3x3 piston door, and there's not that much different with it, but I come back and do one minor change to fix it with this new update. I don't know if it's just me coming back after a couple months of break, or if 1.19 actually made redstone better. I think they made it more consistent for Bedrock Edition. Nice to see that there's improvement if that's the case. But anyways, as you see, I'm wearing a frog onesie today. Another one, but this time the green one. So if you want to see me wear one of your ideas as a onesie, leave it down in the comment section down below. All the ones up on the screen right now are ones I've already done. So maybe choose a new one. And let's just get straight on to materials. You'll need some solid blocks, 12 door blocks, 1 obsidian, 4 glass, 11 sticky pistons, 4 observers, 5 redstone torches, 8 redstone repeaters, 20 redstone dust, and 2 levers. First find where you're going to have your door. I'm going to have my door right here, so I'm going to dig out 3 blocks in the floor. Right below the middle one, I'm going to get 2 sticky pistons facing up like so, and then cover these 3 with our door blocks. To the right, I'm going to have a block of obsidian, and to the left, I'm going to have a sticky piston facing in like so. On both the sticky piston and the obsidian, we're going to have 3 blocks going up like so. Then get two sticky pistons facing in on these bottom ones like so. And finally across the top, we're going to finish off our door blocks going across, whip out our normal blocks, go two up, break the first one, and then two on both sides. Then you can get down below and get your sticky pistons facing down. Should be looking something like this. Now get out everything else left in your inventory, and you're going to go down below right next to this piston. You get an observer facing into it so the arrow should be getting in. So if you need to, you can get a wide angle so then you make sure it's going in. Right above it where this arrow is, we're going to get a repeater facing in like so for a tick delay. Right next to this observer on the face, we're going to get a redstone dust and a block on top. As you see, that just triggered off and it should push that block up. Going out of this redstone, we're going to have a repeater, three tick delay like so. Then go above it and crouch place an observer on top. The red dot should be towards the sky and the arrow should be facing up. Right on top of this red dot, we're going to place a block. As a repeater, redstone dust. To the left going in, we're going to have a sticky piston in the ground going up. Of the sticky piston facing away from the redstone dust, we're going to have an observer. Red dot should be facing this way. Face should be on the side with the redstone dust. We're going to have this going into a repeater, like so. Three tick delay. And then we're going to have going out of this repeater into this piston an observer, like so. As you see, the arrow should be facing in. We're going to have this repeater going into a block. Right next to the block and the observer, you're going to have redstone dust. Then right next to this piston and the redstone dust, a block. Off this block, you're going to have a redstone torch. You're going to place a block on top. Then you're going to have a torch here and here. And they both should turn off. You're going to go on the second block away from this torch. Place a block. Redstone dust on top. Repeater on the block next to it. Have the repeater going into a block. So crouch place a block on it. And then have a repeater going into the sticky piston on the observer on four tick delay. Now we're going to go back around to the front where this redstone dust is at the beginning. We're going to get two blocks going off. Repeater going in. Redstone dust there. Block on top, lever on top. Now let's try this thing. Should double extend, like so, and double retract. Perfect. Now let's say that didn't work. It's a high possibility. You miss one thing, the entire thing doesn't work. First off, we're gonna start with, this is a Bedrock Edition tutorial. So iPhone, Android, PS4, PS5, Xbox, Switch, uh, Windows 10 version of Minecraft. This is for Bedrock Edition, not Java. If you're on Java, get your butt off this video. It's not for you. It will not work on Java. Now let's say you are on Bedrock Edition and all the consoles I just named. There could be many reasons why this doesn't work. First, we're going to check all the repeater timings. This is 1, this is 4. This is 3, this is 3, 1, and 4. If those are all correct, we're going to move on to observers. This observer should be facing in. You can't really see it, but this should, observer should be facing in. Actually, you can see it right here. Face should be on this side with the rest of dust. This observer should be facing up. As you see, the arrow is facing up. It doesn't have to be on this side. The arrow could also be on this side, depending on what angle you're making your door. This observer should be facing this way, as you can see by the arrow. And this observer should be facing this way, as you can see by the face on this repeater. Let's say that's all correct. The next possibility is your world is laggy. Or most likely, you're in a realm and the realm is laggy. So with that, I would just turn all the repeaters on three ticks to four ticks, so those two. And I would turn this one tick to a four tick. Yes, that will slow down your door and stuff, but you know what? It has a better chance of working because it's slower. It has um, the world and the, the computer type stuff to give it enough time to process all the redstone and be able to do each movement. Now let's say it still doesn't work. Like even after all checking all that, it doesn't work. First, check to make sure you have this block. A lot of people forget this block right here. You need it. And second of all, make sure your door is not made of glass. Because when people make their door out of glass, they do everything right. They do their entire door like this, but they also change this piece of glass. You can't do that. As you see, if I 
If I do that, it won't work. It won't work. The reason is because you need this torch to go through this block to this area right here for when this piston goes up. So, if you haven't made out of glass, you need that to be a solid block so then it can actually work like a cell. If you still have problems, feel free to join my Discord server, link in the description. Me or anyone else would be more than happy to help. So, come join. Anyways, on to the top part. Get your blocks, glass, redstone repeaters, redstone dust, and redstone torches. We're going to go one block back, three blocks down. Redstone dust, redstone dust, two repeaters. This is the minor change that had to be done. This one's four ticks, and this one needs to be three tick. Before, it was two tick, but I guess since they made redstone a teeny bit different, instead two tick, it needs to be three tick to make it perfect. I, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, have these repeater going to a block. On the side block, have a redstone torch. On top of the torch, have a block. Redstone torch, block, redstone, redstone on top of the piston, redstone on top of this block, glass, glass, redstone, redstone, and redstone all across. On this piston and block, redstone dust, two glass, redstone, redstone, and then right here at this bottom piston, block, and redstone dust. Now if we go all around, should work, bada boom, and bada boom, yes, bada boom, perfect. And bada boom for the one more time, it's perfect. Now let's say you want to move your lever, because I don't blame you if you do, that's an odd position. You're going to need some more redstone and more repeaters that I did not add to the machines list, because this is like extra stuff. So you're going to place your lever wherever you want it, let's say I want it on a wall right here. We're then going to connect this lever, so I'm going to flick it down. I'm going to start staircasing this down with some redstone, as you can see it turns on. Staircase it down to these three redstone dust, that's all you got to do if you want to move your lever. That's all you got to do, is simply hook it up to these three redstone dust. But let's say your lever is super, super far. Like, super far, right? As you can see, it's not going to work. It, it doesn't work. Even though it's on, it's not going to work. That's because the redstone dies out. That's where you need more repeaters. Probably here, but not here. So that means we add a repeater here. See, renews the source. It reaches. Perfect. So we go down here. Holy moly, it works. Holy moly. That's amazing. Now let's say you want a lever on the inside. It's the same exact process. Oh, let's see. I want my lever right here. So we're going to hook up this lever down and go to the same three pieces of redstone dust. Like so, as you see, it actually just barely misses. It only does the beginning part, not this part, because it doesn't reach. So I mean, somewhere, I'll just do it right here. I need a repeater. So now if we go back around, it worked perfectly, and it works perfectly. Now, another thing that I hear so many problems with that I just need to mention and bring up so then you don't make this mistake either. So let's say this is powered on and the door is closed. And I'm doing my thing, I'm coming this way. Oh, I need to open the door. Let me flick the lever. Flick the lever, nothing happens. Why won't the lever work? Oh my goodness, why won't the lever work? This is why. Because technically, this lever is powered on to then power this close. You want to open it, so that means, oh, flick the lever to open it. So you flick this lever, but technically you're just double powering the system. You're making it even more closed. So you can't double power it, so if you want to open it, you have to unpower this one first before you can actually use this one. As you can see, now I can't use this one to open it. So let's say that is an actual like huge problem for you and you can't like do that because you end up going from side to side, whatever the case may be. I recommend you use a T flip flop. I'm not going to show you how to hook it up in this video, but just hook it up to the same three lines. You'll be good. Timestamp up above. Link in the description. Go check it out if you want. But last but not least, just simply cover this up. It's not too difficult. That's probably the easiest step. Just cover it up. Make sure you don't cut off any redstone like this. You don't want any of that. And you should be all good. Boom. Beautiful. Wow. Amazing. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash like, subscribe, do as always, post noise, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.